Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisances, all glory to Sri Prabhupada. Welcome to devotees to today's class. Today we'll be continuing with uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila, chapter 4, verse 35. And the chapter is entitled, The Confidential Reasons for the Appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We are very happy to have His Holiness Chandramali Swami with us. I'm just waiting for Maharaj to actually... Um, uh, we, we are waiting for him to turn on his camera if Maharaj is ready to start the class. That's Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisance as much. All glories to you and Prabhupada Maharaj. <laughs> Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dwaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrindam Oops, lost the verse. Bhavet Kriya Vidinglin Sekiha Kai Kartavam Asvak E Anyata Praya Vayai here, the use of the word bavet, which is in the imperative mood, tells us that this certainly must be done. Non-compliance would be abandonment of duty. So this is in reference to the previous verse. Purport, the imperative is applicable to pure devotees. Neophytes, when will be able to understand these affairs only after being elevated by regulated devotional service under the expert guidance of the spiritual master. So mm, these affairs, that means the loving affairs of Radha and Krishna, are not understandable to those who are still on the material platform. Only when they become elevated under the guidance of the expert spiritual master, then too they will be competent to hear the love affairs of Radha and Krishna. It doesn't mean they'll understand it, but they'll at least be able to be competent to hear them. As long as one is in the material conditional life, strict discipline is required in the matter of moral and immoral activities. That's a very powerful statement. As long as one is in material condition, life strict discipline is required in the matter of moral and immoral activities. The absolute world is transcendental and free from such distinctions because their inebriety is not possible. So those who are on a lower platform, they have they won't be able to qualify themselves to understand or be competent to hear Radha and Krishna pastimes because they are beyond all moral and immoral activities of this material world. They're not immoral, but they don't follow the standard definition of morality. They, they have a category of their own. And as long as one is, uh, but in this material world, a sexual appetite necessita necessitates distinction between moral and immoral contact in the material world. There are no sexual activities in the spiritual world, although it appears to be. The trans transaction between lover and beloved in the spiritual are pure transcendental love and unadulterated bliss. So can you understand that? No. Simply by the words, you can't. The transaction between lover and beloved in the spiritual world are pure transcendental love and unadulterated bliss. In other words, they have nothing to do with morality or immorality that appears in this material world. One who has not been attracted by the transcendental beauty of rasa will certainly be dragged down into the material attraction. So here is a quali qualification for hearing Krishna's pastime. You have to understand rasa. 
or be attracted by the transcendental beauty of rasa. What does rasa mean? Rasa means mellow, a relationship. And there are five rasas that one can have with the Supreme Lord. Thus, to act in material contamination and progress to the darkest region of hellish life. I'll read that again. One who has not been attracted by the transcendental beauty of rasa will certainly be dragged down into material attraction, thus to, to act in material contamination and progress to the darkest region. So, and also, unless you verse with the principle of rasa, then you will see these activities to be material. Therefore, then you go to hell. But by understanding the conjugate, conjugal love of Radha and Krishna, one is free. It's important to understand this for, from the grip of attraction of material so-called love between man and woman. So there is a spiritual benefit, a purifying benefit who one can, by one can understand. But if you don't understand, don't try to don't try to meddle into these affairs. And if you can understand, you'll become purified. And if you go farther in your misunderstanding, as it says here, you'll be dragged down into material hellish life. Similarly, one who understands the parental love of Nanda and Yasoda for Krishna will be saved from being dragged into the material parental affection. So these things are antidotes for our shadow reflections that we have in this material world. If one accepts Krishna as a supreme friend, the attraction of material friendship will be finished for him. And he will not be dismayed by the so-called friendship with mundane wranglers, materialistic persons. If, he, if one is attracted by servitor to Krishna, he will no longer have to serve the material body in a degraded status of material existence with the false hope of becoming master in the future. A very clear distinction between the material and the spiritual. Similarly, one who sees the greatness of Krishna in neutrality will certainly never again seek the so-called relief of impersonalists or voidists philosophy. If one is not attracted by the transcendental nature of Krishna, one is sure to be attracted to material enjoyment. So one has to be attracted somewhere. So if you're not, if you're attracted to Krishna, you won't be attracted to material enjoyment. If you're attracted to material enjoyment, it's very difficult to become attracted to Krishna. Thus to become implicated in the clinging network of virtuous and sinful activities, this is moral and immoral, and to continue material existence by transmigrating from one material body to another. Only in Krishna consciousness can one achieve the highest perfection of life. Srimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nevasesa Sunyavari Pastyatya De Sitarine Manchakalpa Tarupa Shakri Pasindu Be Bachapatita Aram Pavne Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namahuna Maha Daisi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunitananda Siddhve Digadar Har Sivasadi Gaur Bhakti Vindam Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. As we mentioned earlier, this verse is a continuation, or more or less an explanation of the previous verse. And most of us who are coming on today have no, have had not have any contact with the previous verse. So I would suggest that... Uh, Anasuya, who's been following this verse by verse, can explain a little bit about the previous verse. Maharaj, I have to make a confession that I missed the last verse because I had to do all deity service, but I can ask Prakshit because he was there for that. If he can say something. Okay. 
Hey, Christian, I had a Christian day to Please accept my humble obeisance to solve glory to Sri Prabhupada. So I think it's best to read the translation first. Krishna manifests his eternal human like form and performs his pastimes to show mercy to the devotees. Having heard such pastimes, one should engage in service to him. And that is very, very instructive to us. Krishna comes looking like a human, and some people get thrown off by that. God looking like a human, they think that he acts like a human also. And therefore, he is just human and limited like everybody else. That the human is limited. And that is the maya that people, some people, are under. But Krishna himself says in the Bhagavad Gita that he reserves the right to cover himself to those who don't really believe in him or are not ready to serve him. So he comes... And by the mercy of a spiritual master, we are getting a good sense of who Krishna is, although it's just minute, but it's enough for us to get a sense of who Krishna is. He is a supreme personality of Godhead. Nobody is at this level. Nobody can be greater than him. And when he comes in his own will, he shows mercy to the devotees, as has been explained here. And when you hear the pastimes, one should serve him. So that connects very much to the next verse, which Maharaj has already started talking about. Hare Krishna. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna. Yeah, that point about human-like pastimes, are, he is not human, he is always transcendental. And as you would nicely explain in a very succinct but clear way, people misunderstand. And unless one is understanding these principles, as the word bavet indicates, mm. uh, then uh, they should not try to enter into them. Mm -hmm. Bavet means this certainly must be done. Our duty is to understand or try to understand. <laughs> Non-compliance would be abandonment of duty. Imperative mood means certainly. So one must certainly hear about Krishna's pastimes, but then again, Prabhupada qualifies this. He says, this imperative is applicable to pure devotees. <laughs> first verse, first statement, neophytes will be able to stand these affairs only after being, he can go up the page a little, only after being elevated, by regulated devotional service under the guidance of an expert spiritual master. And then they will be competent to hear the love affair. Otherwise, people will think, as has been explained, Krishna is just like me, maybe a little bit better. And so, because that's the reference we have. We see things in relationship to what we know or what we do for our own, in our own life. And therefore, people superimpose this idea that these love affairs between Radha and Krishna and the material world is simply similar to what is the boy and girl in the material world. But they're not. Uh, the difference between gold and iron is both are metals. One is very base and ordinary and quite available. The other one is rare and very valuable. So uh, both are metals. So every one thinks, well, all metals are the same. Then you can give the, you know, then they'll think any metal is whatever they want it to be. Because all metals are the same. Or all metals are gold. Or all metals are iron, either way. So this is this is myopic vision or limited vision or stunted vision. It's ignorance, basically. Therefore, as it says here, one has to hear these affairs and be elevated by regulated devotional service. So regulated devotional service is a preliminary for understanding these, which leads to the spontaneous devotional service where one can enter into these. Uh, into these 
areas and hear and chant the glories of the Lord in his intimate pastimes in the spiritual world. So we go back to the first statement. This imperative, as the word bevetic, is applicable only to pure devotees. Now we may not be pure, but we have to at least, it says here, we still have to follow the morality of the material world. Distinction between moral and moral. Because people will surreptitiously or try to imitate Krishna's pastimes in the spiritual world by performing these same pastimes in the material world with other living entities. And this becomes an abomination. It is just some lusty desires, which is somehow played out as being as being similar to Krishna's pastimes. It has nothing to do with them. So then again, what is the understanding? The understanding is on in the in the in the spiritual world, especially in Vrindavan, everything is on the platform of pure love. So what does pure love mean? That there is no personal motivation for any of the activities. Everything is motivated for the pleasure of the object that they want that they're serving. The gopis are completely free from person. They may dress themselves nicely. But it's only because it will please Krishna. So the gopis will do everything that appears to be like young girls do in their day-to-day -day life. But they have no personal interest in this. They do it only to please Krishna. And if Krishna is not pleased by that, then they'll, then they'll completely discard it. Although it's in line with, with, with moral principles. So this is how, this is under, a little bit of the understanding of how uh, love plays itself out. It's not about personal interest. The gopis were willing to go to hell just to give a little dust on their lotus feet so Krishna could be relieved from their headache. So their only desire is to please Krishna and there's no limit by which they will do anything to please Krishna. And Krishna will also act in such a way as to please his devotees by reciprocating their love in a way that they also feel completely happy and satisfied. And his motivation is simply to please his devotees. So that's the, the, that's the realm of pure love. Mm -hmm. There is no personal interest. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the material world, there is. No one will enter into a relationship unless they can get something from that relationship. There is some motivation. But even if it's a slight motivation, it's still a motivation. Prabhupada talks about how in the material world, people will break their relationships when the partner that they're with no longer fulfills their desires. And then they're the relationship starts to deteriorate and it continues, then there is a break in the relationship. But in the spiritual world, no one is motivated by their personal interests. They're all motivated to place Krishna and Krishna wants to reciprocate their love in the best possible way, which gives them a great amount of pleasure. Even if Krishna does not accept them, just like we have the verse from Radharani, or Lord Chaitanya says, as Lishiva Padarata Vipina Stuman, a Darshanam Marmahatam Kero Jivam, Yatapata Vidadati Lumpato, Matranam Nastisa Evana Paraha. Lord Krishna, who is the lover of many devotees, may embrace this fully surrendered maidservant, or may trample me with his feet, or he may render me broken hearted by not being present before me for a long duration of time. But still, he is nothing less than the absolute Lord of my heart. So, the pure love is not uh, influenced by anything the object of love does. It stays pure, even if the object of love does not apparently reciprocate their love. Hmm. Here, another verse, 
O Lord of the poor, do what you like with me. Give me either mercy or punishment, but in this world I have none to look to except your lordship. The Chataka bird always prays for the cloud, regardless of whether it showers rain or throws a thunderbird. Hmm. So using that example, it's the same as that verse that we just quoted. A devotee uh, will stay fixed in their loving relationship with Krishna, no matter if Krishna reciprocates or doesn't reciprocate. He recipro he, re he always reciprocates by sometimes not reciprocating. It's another form of reciprocation. Here's another prayer by Madhavendra Puri. Oh, my evening prayer, all good unto you. Oh, my morning bath, I bid you goodbye. Oh, demigods and forefathers, please excuse me. I'm unable to perform any more offerings for your pleasure. Now I decided to free myself from all reactions to sin, sins simply by remembering anywhere and everywhere the great descendant of the Yadu dynasty and the great enemy of Kamsa, Lord Krishna. I think this is sufficient for me. So what is the use of further endeavor? So he's willing to give up all his regulated principles because he thinks, hmm, it's, what is the value of such thing? I'm simply focused on loving devotion to Krishna. Another one by Medavendra Pura. Let the sharp moralists accuse me of being illusioned. I don't mind. Expert in Vedic activities may slander me as being misled. Friends and relatives may call me frustrated. My brothers may call me a fool. The wealthy Mammonites may point me out as mad. And the learned philosophers may assert that I am much too proud. Still, my mind does not budge an inch from the determination to serve the lotus feet of Govinda, though I am unable to do so. Hmm. And the last verse, which again is all in the same principle, religion, economic development, and sense gratification are celebrated as three means of attaining salvation. Of these, Ikshatraya, Especially knowledge of the self, knowledge of food of acts and logic, and also politics and economics are different means of livelihood. All these are different subjects of Vedic education. And therefore, I consider them temporary engagements. On the other hand, surrendering unto the soul of the Supreme Lord Vishnu is a factual gaze in life, and I consider it the ultimate truth. That's spoken by Prahlad Mahatma. So, rejecting all other principles and focusing completely on the lotus feet of the Lord in devotion. Of course, that can only be done by one who is on the spontaneous platform of attraction to Krishna. If one is not, as this first cautions and the purport cautions, one should very carefully get elevated to regulated principles and follow the principles of morality as given by the worldly persons. Otherwise, one will think that Krishna's pastimes, Krishna's activities, and my relationships with them are simple, similar to what goes on in the material world. That's the essence of this here. So to misunderstand is easy, to understand is very difficult. But one can qualify themselves to understand simply by uh, focusing completely on the lotus feet of the Lord by following the instructions of the spiritual master and dedicate all of one's time, energy, resources, words, intelligence in the service of the Lord. Then we'll get, one will get a glimpse of what is pure transcendental loving affairs. Otherwise, it looks just like something we do in the material world, and therefore, you know, people will think, well, if Krishna can do it, I can do it also. Uh, if you go down the page, there are many more statements that support this idea. So rasa, it means relationship. So there are different kinds of rasas. 
servitorship, friendship, uh, affection, and madhurya ras. Um, rasa means mellow, for the sweetness that comes with a particular contact with Krishna. So, for instance, <clears throat> uh, there is. Uh, Let's take the cat. Take the category of sweets. So you have different kinds of sweets. You have uh, maybe burfi. You have rasgula. You have rubbery. You have ordinary candy. You have sugar cane. You have everything is sweet, and all contains elements of of sweeteners such as sugar. But there is a slight flavor difference in each one of them which makes that each one unique in itself. So the sweetness are there in all of the relationships with Krishna, but the flavor of the sweetness is more or less according to the, the type of relationship that one is engaged in with Krishna. And the topmost form of sweetness or concentrated sweetness is Madhurya Ras, or conjugal loving affairs with Krishna which we can read about in the Srimad Bhagavatam in the 10th canto. But in order to prepare oneself to understand these, one should carefully read the Bhagavatam canto by canto, going through all of the cantos very carefully and, and hearing about Krishna's pastimes as the creator of the material realm without understanding his position as the supreme source of all existence, one will not have a foundation for understanding Krishna's pastimes in Vrindavan because that same person will look like an ordinary person. But when one understands that that same person is the cause of all causes, Iswara Parma Krishna Sajjidananda Vigraha, Anadiradir Govinda Sarvakar and Karham. He is he is he is the beginning, middle, and end of everything. He's in everything, he's in between everything. He is the cause of everything. Uh, he exists in all aspects of existence, both spiritual and material. Only then, when one gets a, a, a preliminary understanding of the nature of the absolute truth, Sri Krishna then one can begin to understand his pastimes in the spiritual world, which look like ordinary pastimes of boy and girl, but they're not. <laughs> There's no nothing ordinary about them. <laughs> and whether it's Madhurya Ras, or Sakya Ras, or Vatsaya Ras, or just Dasya Ras, you know, even here, uh, Shanta Ras is mentioned. So, all of these are a certain flavor that comes by way of a certain relationship that one can develop with Krishna. Many religious traditions just talk about God as the father and we are his children. That's like a somewhat of a parental relationship. And the father is the provider, the children is the ones that get provided for. But that is not bhakti, according to the Vedic scriptures. Uh, that relationship is uh, that uh, and Krishna becomes this becomes the source and, and the object of giving of giving pleasure, and not the source, the one who gives pleasure to me. In other traditions, they're always asking for God for something. We're not asking for God for anything because the principle is to give to God. God has already given us any, everything. There's nothing that we have to ask him for. But we ask him for devotion to himself. And therefore, we follow that principle of trying to please Krishna. That's why Prabhupada would say, in some traditions, they say, my dear Lord, give us daily bread. But we say, my dear Lord, what would you like to eat today? That was quite the opposite. And so we don't ask anything from Krishna but to serve Krishna. And other traditions in that mood of parental relationship that God is the father 
He is the one that's supposed to provide everything, and we're the ones who receive everything. And if we're if we're a good boy and girl and follow his uh, rules and regulations accordingly, then he gives us everything. And the more we get is an indication of how how good a devotee we are, which is not our philosophy or our practice. Our practice is to think about how to please the Lord by rendering service in different ways to the Lord. And that's why these different rasas or mellows relationships exist because as they sit, as they manifest in themselves in the material world, they're shadows of the real. So when the relationships that we take on with husband and wife, with children and parents, with lovers and beloved, with with friends in different ways. All of these are, are perverted reflections of the reality that exists with Krishna in the spiritual world. So going back to that consciousness means to perform these activities with the desire to please Krishna, not to the desire to get some benefit, material benefit from servicing, from service to God. So here's a little bit about this verse and a little bit of how it's exclusive in accepting that the, the highest and the most relishable and and for the great souls, the only activity is to absorb themselves in Krishna. Thank you so much, Marge. It was such a beautiful class, amazing points, and um, definitely a lot of food for thought, a lot of thoughts that we have to check ourselves. So thank you so much, Marge. Would like to ask Preksha to stop sharing the screen, and if we can um, request devotees to please uh, turn on your videos wherever you're at so that we can have each other's association and see each other. And if you have any questions, please uh, do raise your hand and I will call upon you in the order. That way I don't miss anyone. Um, while others are thinking, Maharaj, I have a question, Maharaj, and I'm trying to understand, but I don't think I can. The, the last sentence in the purport, sorry, in the verse, Maharaj, in the translation, you know, wait, wait, I have the wrong one. Um. Sri Prabhupada translates it as non-compliance would be abandonment of duty. What's that? What does that actually mean, Maharaj? I think it's in reference to the previous statement. Read the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Here, the use of the verb bhavet, which is in the imperative mood, tells us that this is that this certainly must be done. Non-compliance would be abandonment of duty. So read the previous verse. Translation. Krishna manifests his eternal human-like form and performs his pastimes to show mercy to the devotees. Having heard such pastimes, one should engage in service to him. The non-compliance with not, with not engaging with service to him mm -hmm. it should not happen after hearing Krishna's pastimes. That's okay. the non-compliance. Mm -hmm. Refers to the translation in that verse. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, in other words, you, one should serve Krishna. <laughs> in non-compliance, one will be uh, what does it say? Non-compliance. One cannot. Abandonment of duty. Yeah, abandonment of duty. Yeah, right. Okay. It's it's just the way it said. It's so powerful and so strong. I thank you, Marge. Thank you so much. Yes. Chaitanya Charitamrita is very philosophical. <laughs> yes, Marge. It is. Thank you, Marge. Yes, Sri Devi. Go ahead. Thank you, Anusuya. Dear Guru Maharaj, my most humble obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. 
Maharaj, I want to ask this question about the five different rasas. Does the rasa of master and servant, that means the dasya ras, does it include feelings of uh, parental uh, affection uh, between like father and son? Uh, like the master, at least in the olden days when my mother would describe how they used to take care of the servants in their home, she said they were like our children. We took care of them in every respect and they were very loyal, very faithful and served us. So similarly, in our relationship with Krishna, God, our father, is it possible that even as a servant, I feel like his child and that he is my father? Yeah, well, it's not a matter of feeling, it's a matter of acting in that relationship. What is the duty of us of a child to the father is to obey the instructions of the father. That becomes the primary duty. And das, in the word dasya, means whatever service that I've been asked to do, um, I should do that in, in, in regards to pleasing Krishna. It's not that just carrying out the activities, it would must be pleasing Krishna. So I don't think you can compare, you know, master and servant in, in one tradition to another similar, but there's always differences there. As I explained in certain traditions, and the the disciple or the servant who sees himself as the reciprocant of all of the benefits that the master gives. But that's not our mood. Mm. Our mood is to please to serve. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Thank yes. you, Sri Devi. Yes, Damodar, go ahead. Hare Krishna Maharaj. And all the devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All the glory to Shri Prabhupada. Uh, so, like very perfect words, I would say for me that uh, it should be done. And, you know, whatever services are there, and um, even about like you know, it also relates to uh, daily sadhana. So now, like you know, uh, earlier I was staying with a devotee. Now I'm like you know moving uh, out and will be staying alone in that that situation when you are alone not around with the devotees it becomes difficult to keep the uh, sadhana like you know on track uh, so like you know there there are lots of things there is morning bhagavatam there is youtube uh, like you know we can watch uh, devotional videos and stuff but uh, and I, I have uh, a schedule, uh, you know, to do certain things. Uh, but when time comes, uh, it like the mind is very uh, difficult to, you know, do the, the, those things. So, like, how how should we go ahead and see to it that the sadhana is maintained? Well, if difficulty is the consideration, then... We're not understanding the principle of bhakti. Whether it's difficult or not difficult, do it. <laughs> That's all. If you know something is right and it should be done, then you do it. And then the question of difficult shouldn't enter into the consideration whether well or I know it's right, but because it's difficult, I can't, I won't do it or I can't do it then you're not understanding the principle. Because difficulty will be there sometimes and sometimes it won't be. So if you're forced to accept a situation that will compromise your ability to practice Krishna consciousness, then you'll be in a situation where 
you'll have to work harder to get what you got easier before. That's all. So if you want to go that way, fine. But then you should understand that what was available easier now is harder. But because it's devotion, it should be done. It's not a matter of, well, it's difficult, therefore I won't do it. Prabhupada didn't let difficulties and the uh, deter him from, you know, crossing the ocean, landing in a foreign land, and and trying to start a movement with a bunch of hippies. He had his mind fixed. If you want to be successful in anything, you have to fix your mind on the goal and go for it. That's all. Those who are one pointed in their activities are successful. So difficulties may be there. They may not be there. It doesn't matter. Just do it. <laughs> Find a way to do it. Thank you, Marge. Marge, if I can piggyback on on on, on that question that uh, he asked us, uh, Marge, how does one develop the understanding of how does one fix its the mind on a goal? Like, how do we get to that stage? You 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 apply that, and we apply that in our material life, right? For instance, what is very common. When a woman wants a particular man, she, she just focuses on him and she'll do whatever is required in order to achieve her goal. Uh, a student, a serious student in a university will push everything else aside and just, and just study and go to all the classes and, you know, give all time and energy to getting good marks. So if the goal in, in Krishna consciousness is pure love of God. And pure love of God allows one to go back home, back to the spirit. So when we understand the goal, then the difficulties are not really difficulties anymore. They're opportunities. That's all. But because we're not, we're, we're, we're what's that verse? Vyasa pekha buddhir ekeha kuna namdanaha. Bahu sakya yanatas cha buddhi yoga visayinam. Those who are on this path are resolute in purpose, and their aim is one, O beloved child of the Kurus. Those who's, whose mind are irresolute, those whose intelligence are irresolute, it's many branched. So if you have many goals at the same time, you're going to be what they call all over the place. <laughs> Focus on what you want and go for it. <laughs> you want to become Krishna conscious, you have to do whatever is required to follow the process that, that leads you to pure devotional service. Marge, as you were speaking, I was remembering a a, a, a phrase that Shri put in the purport that I was going to ask, but you answered it, uh, is strict discipline, is the phrase that Shri used in the purport, strict discipline. Yeah. Yeah. Ek, ek, ah. One-pointed. If you want to read a good book in relationship to that, it's a book that was penned by His Holiness Shiva Ram Maharaj. It's called, uh, what's that verse? Sankalpa Kus Kumodi. Sankalpa Kumodi. It's about 800 pages. <laughs> but it focuses on four principles, which are the principles of success in bhakti. Read the book. It's it's worth it. And there's a lot of knowledge in the book. 
Mark, you said it's called Sankalpa Kumodi, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody put it up in on the chat there. You can see it. Oh, okay. Is there, somebody can write it up. Sankalpa Kumodi. Kumudi. K U M U D I. Okay. Sankalpa Kumudi. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. Any questions from devotees that you would like to ask, please do raise your hand. This is a very deep topic, very, but yet very, very sweet. So if you have any questions, clarification, please do raise your hand. Marge, um, a question that I have, Marge, and it's in the previous verse, uh, 434. Marge, what are the symptoms of a sahajya? Character specific of a sahajya? Symptoms uh, is pretense. Pretentious. Performing activities to impress people rather than... Yeah, yeah, it's just about impressing others by their activities. There's no substance to it. The word, san, the word sahaja means to take things cheaply. That's what it means. So if something is valuable, but you take it as ordinary, then that's, that's sahaja, you know, taking things cheaply. And so just as one is cheating themselves, but they try to make, it's just making a show out of bhakti eventually. By trying to exhibit some of, some of the characteristics of a pure devotee. That's it. There's a class of spiritualists, at least they call themselves that. They're called the Sahajias. That's That's their names. It's one of the awesome pradayas. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. For, we, for... Not, we don't have we don't give them any credit at all. <laughs> yes, Maharaj. And I really liked how you said that it actually means take things cheap. That was really powerful and making a show of bhakti. Thank you, Maharaj. Yes, Bhikkhu Prabhu, go ahead. Hare Krishna, Maharaj, please accept our Tanvat Pranam, all glories to Sri Prabhupada. Maharaj, uh, earlier in your uh, talk, there is a mention about the eternal human form of Krishna. So say during his uh, appearance in Vrindavan, Krishna appears in his eternal human form. Is that form different to the human form that we are? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. If you're talking about difference in, in looks, no. He's got one head, two arms, two legs. He, he looks like us. <laughs> Or we look like him. But it's not material. It's pure spiritual. All of Krishna's forms are spiritual. That means they don't, they're not under the influence of the three modes of material energy. Although it appears to be similar. Yes. Uh... That, that all, of, all of Krishna's forms are eternal. So wherever he will appear, it will be in the spiritual, eternal human form. Yeah, human form simply means like us, that's all. But okay. it's not you it's not human. You can't apply that word human onto Krishna. Because human means us, mundane, eternal, transcendental form, where she appears in this world, 
which is similar to the forms that the living entities have in this world. And so no, no one uses the word human form so much as a description for Krishna's appearance in this world because it doesn't follow the rules or the principles of, hum of ordinary humanity. It's transcendental. It's pure spirit. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bhikkhu Prabhu. Mark, there's a question in the chat from Dear Krishna, and he said, to you. How to know if someone is pretending, especially when we are new in the Krishna consciousness process, so that we do not end up being influenced by the pretenders? Just kick him and see how he acts. <laughs> Much I was waiting for an answer like that. <laughs> if he if he accepts the kick, then you know he's real. Yeah, yeah. One 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 Sahaji. He came. said, "Problem solved, Maharaj." <laughs> yeah, one 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 Sahaji came to see Prabhupada. Prabhupada was in his room with one devotee. And he came in and he started rolling on the floor and exhibiting some ecstatic symptoms in front of Prabhupada, trying to show off. And Prabhupada told, told, told his servant, just go kick him. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. He kicked him and the guy got up and ran out. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you have to deal with these guys. You know? it's just like... Marge, um, it, it, is there a second plan besides kicking Marge? <laughs> what did they kick back? <laughs> uh, they're so engrossed in their illusion that they think they don't know where they are. Well, if, someone is, if someone is making a show of Krishna consciousness, in other words, becoming duplicitous, Duplicious or hypocritical, you may not be able to see that. But it'll come out in what they say and how they perform their activities. And you can recognize it. When you say perform the activities, Manchi, are you talking about how they will perform the devotional activities if it's according to the process? They may also appear to look like that, but usually they have usually they have a material motivation for their for their so-called spiritual activities. They're trying to gain something material. Power, position, recognition. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Any questions from Divorce Marge? I can tell that you had another a busy, spicy day today. <laughs> you look so tired, Marge. I feel so bad to even ask more questions. As long as we stick with the subject matter, I'm fine. As soon as you start starting to praise me, then I want to shut the computer off. Oh no, no, I want. I, I promise. I promise. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you, Devi, for questions. Should Devi please ask a question? <laughs> so, Guru Maharaj, on this point of personal motivation, we are mixed devotees, and so we come into devotional service with so much baggage and so many, you know, uh, desires, etc. So I may think. Oh, I'm doing service with a mood of pleasing Krishna. But underneath, I may have a very strong motivation for uh, profit, adoration, distinction, recognition, name, fame, etc. Though I may pretend that I don't. So how to get over this tendency of constantly trying to see what's in it for me? What's in it for me like that? 
But just come come to me and I'll just take a stick and beat you and then you'll be okay. <laughs> then you'll we know are what getting it, Marsh. We 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 needed this. <laughs> then then you'll know what's in it for you. It'll be like evident. <laughs> Shri Devi, first it's the kick, now it's the second one. So we got two answers. <laughs> well, you know, you got to deal with things as they come. <laughs> Who is the kick and now the stick? What more is left now? Take your pick. <laughs> the, the shoes. We missed the shoes. <laughs> well, the shoes, in this case, it's, it, it's the shoes are not effective enough. We need a stick. <laughs> 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 the witch's like, broomstick. <laughs> you beat. It's like in, when you're in Vrindavan and you're walking along. You generally devotees carry sticks with them because the monkeys attack. <laughs> so if Sri Devi and her monkey-like mentality starts to act like that. <laughs> <laughs> then we take the stick and then after we sufficiently change her we'll give her a banana <laughs> then she'll be alright she won't ask questions like that anymore <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. That was a good question, Shudev, because we all needed that answer. We all needed that answer for sure. We got the kick and we got the stick. That was, that was just for her. That wasn't for anybody else. <laughs> Maharaj, once in a while, we could use the stick and the, the kick and the stick too, <laughs> for sure, to wake us up. <laughs> yeah, Jeep Jago, Jeep Jago, Golda Chandra Bole, Kota Nidra Jayo Maya Pisa Chire Kole. Jeep Jago. Yes, Maharaj, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Any questions from devotees, please uh, do uh, raise your hand and uh, we can answer your question. Uh, and I'm going down the list to make sure that there isn't, I didn't miss anybody. Marsh, before we end, I was asked to make a quick announcement uh, to remind devotees about the retreat in Italy. The registration is open. Um, Mother Sukhavaha Mataji just had me, uh, reminded me to announce it. So please, if you have gotten that email, please uh, do uh, register and please check out that uh, information. Marj, yes. One round of chanting, Marj. Two. Yes, Marj, no problem. <laughs> we will we we will do two rounds, Maharaj. As you yeah. please. If I can make it through the second round without falling asleep, then it'll be success. <laughs> Maharaj, we we actually gave that service to Priksha that whenever you do get tired, then he will jump in for you, and then he's been pretty efficient at that. <laughs> Yeah, today has been an interesting day. You had to give your class again, right, Maharaj for Bhakti Vaibhava? Yeah, that was two and a half hours from 3 o'clock to 5.30. And, oh, Krishna. And then we started here at 6.30. That's okay. As long as everybody is focused on what we're doing, then I can stay with the program. Yes, Marge. <laughs> okay. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakti Rindam Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakti Rindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 
हरे राम हरे राम जी कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम जी कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम जी हरे राम हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम जी कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम जी कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम जी कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम राम हे हरे कृष्ण हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण राम हरे राम राम जय कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम जय कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे राम राम जय कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम जय कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हे कृष्ण हरे हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Hari Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So thank you my, so much. All the body, thank you very much. And uh, we'll begin again uh, next week on Tuesday. With, yes. Uh, the next class. Um, but those of you who are coming, come even though uh, if some other devotee gives class, come, listen to class. They say, no matter who gives class, you can always gain something from every class if you are looking for it. So um, don't relegate class just to when I give it. It should come all the time. I'm getting reports that the devotees don't come on the other days. And that's kind of sad because the whole idea is to inspire devotees to hear and chant the glories of the Lord and uh, take opportunities to also, uh, uh, you know, fit yourself with this knowledge and be able to come out forward and give a class too. So, mm. This is the criticism in our in our movement. The movement is that only very few people are preaching and everybody else is just there, you know. But this is not... This is not Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is whatever you learn, repeat. And as you repeat, you'll gain more. As you gain more, your remembrance will increase. And as your remembrance will increase, you become more adept at learning more and more and more. And that becomes really exciting, Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you just sit back and just let everybody else do everything, and uh, every we gave a class about a couple months ago on, on how to give a class. It was a you know a structural presentation on the different considerations, points of interest, and uh, techniques that we can 
apply to giving classes. Even if you're shy, you can still, you can practice by looking in the mirror and just give a class to yourself. And if, if the guy in the mirror raises his hand, you can try to answer the question. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he's usually very favorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Krishna. <laughs> Scarlett is putting all of this electronic laugh to think <laughs> three times a day. <laughs> when I get really tired, this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Maraj. I was going to say, is it good for us to make you more entire so we see the other part of you? No. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sorry, Maraj. <laughs> Keep on the humor side. <laughs> if you get too serious, then I'll fall asleep. <laughs> Absolutely, Maraj. Okay, right. so, so uh, by the time we see each other, it'll be 2024. Yeah. Very, very full. Very, very full. We're still on 8 o'clock? I mean, 8 o'clock EST? No, no, so? next week on, it'll go back to 7. It's just seven. Like next week, Mara, okay. said. Yeah. I'm yes. giving right. the uh, Bhakti Bhai Baba teaching. And it, it goes from three to six my time. Mm. And then usually I start my classes at five thirty my time. So it gets strange. But I'm here for is this the your last week March of teaching? This is my only week of teaching. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Must you might be. say you it is the last, it's the first. <laughs> <laughs> and the middle. <laughs> first and the last. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Marsh, we hope that you can get some rest tonight. I got a, 12 students, three ladies and nine men. They won't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Marsh, probably if you crack some jokes, then they'll talk to you, Maraj. <laughs> No, this class will, I can tell it's just not in that mood. <laughs> <laughs> a, too, a, a little too stiff people, devotees. Well, one, maybe they're more serious. There's one, mm. girl, there's one girl and one guy in the class will laugh. So that's two out of 12, that's one sixth. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Scarlet is laughing electronically again. <laughs> I can make Scarlet laugh, then I can, it's worth it just being here. How <laughs> 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 I mean, is it possible that she could laugh? It wasn't. It was. I wasn't thinking it was possible, but you never know. Krishna <laughs> Consciousness can change people really fast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> just with laughter. Uh, you know, Marge, actually, when I first met Bhakti Tirtha Swami in 90, oh my God, 92 or 91, I don't remember. And and the first, in, in our one hour meeting, he just told me, Anusuya, well, at the time I wasn't Anusuya, he said, you come to me and I'll protect you with my M16. That was it. Still got it pat. He's still packing it. So with his imaginary men six M sixteen, I joined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I better go before my power blows out here. Yes, Maraj. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> and get some rest, Mars. Please take care of yourself, Maharaj. And we thank you so much. We thank all thank the devotees for joining us. Vanchakapati Biascha, Kripa Sindhu Bhai Bacha, Patita Nampavanebhyo. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. 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 Jai.